Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's me, the anxious farmer. Potato harvest is finished. The field has been it's been completely reprepped. It had to be ploughed out. You just see there, there's a plough on the back of the fence. Um, it's been ploughed, fertilised, and I have seeded it with oats. Now field one and two have oats on it as well. But I'm looking for as much straw as I can make. Going to fill the bunkers as much as I can up here and probably bale the rest of it. No dependent on how many bales we get off the field. But I'll probably bale the rest of it. It'll, we can hold on to it and save me having to do so much straw again. Now, field six is ready to go we're going to make silage now this field wasn't it wasn't fertilized when i bought the farm so the yield is going to be a little bit lower but I think what I might do is we'll get all this field harvested see what we have in the bunker and I might mow one of the fields or even both fields out the front just to make enough silage to have it in storage At least then once I do have enough in storage I can move on to Well like that we gotta get we gotta get cows uh, but it'll give me a chance then like I was doing on CJ Farms from time to time is mow fields, bale them and sell them and keep that money coming in. What I made off field 71 as far as potato harvest was concerned was not enough to make a difference with the leasing of the machinery. Now if I'd stuck with one harvester I probably would have made money. But I'd still still be at it. It did take a couple of hours even with two machines on the go. To even with both harvesters it did take a while to get that field done yeah, I think we made all in all maybe 15 ish thousand profit now I've gone and sold all the wool from CJ Farms as well and the leasing of this machinery then has brought it's, it's brought that money back down Now I'm hoping to get, once I get a chance to harvest field 1, field 2 and start into the harvest on field 71 I'm hoping to get cows moved in. I don't want to move them in until I have all the product ready to go to feed them, to bed them. what is happening there the 
Okay, if we get the truck, we'll bring this to the silo. That truck looks very small with all these trailers. In comparison to a lot of the other in-game trucks, the trailers they just dwarf this. Still, it's doing its job. There are a couple of little hills that it's struggled with, I know it will under full load. Okay, first load in. We'll reconnect this now again and move on with harvest. Um, what are you doing? Big shout out as well to um, Bruce's gaming. In fairness, he's been very forthcoming with ideas. He's been sending comments, talking to me as far as maybe new maps are concerned. Um, even with ideas with animals, um, I can only thank him for that. Now he runs, he has his own YouTube channel. I've checked it out a few times, oh I'm gone haywire there, I've checked it out a few times, he does a nice bit of live streaming, so by all means, jump over and check him out, there's some nice videos. Now, I don't know how much we're going to get off this deal. Will we 
if we get 10 trailers that'll be 450 480,000 litres we'll have plenty, plenty of silage and storage in it it wouldn't have to mow field 3 or field 4 for now Yeah, we'll see, but yeah, if we can get 10 trailers off this, or more even, at least then we can move on to harvest and start getting straw. I should have put a worker on. Okay, for some reason it doesn't like filling this trailer completely. Yeah, I'm not sure why. It doesn't like filling the trailer. Now the animals down on CJ Farms, I haven't actually sold legs yet and the modded uh, pallet that I got for eggs, it's nearly full, it's nearly full so I'm hoping to be selling eggs fairly soon because um, that coop will only take 100 chickens, eggs are a bit slower to come on wool is producing at a fair rate in fairness in the length of time it took me to load the trailer um, and bring it to the spinnery there was nearly another half pallet so they're producing fairly well in fairness to them Need to get that down this side. Now I'll use the fin to um, 
I used that fin there, the 1052 compact silo. I didn't make much difference, but just the wider, the wider wheelbase, and the, in my mind, it's heavier. Right, well I'm going to move on with this harvest and I will see you when everything's in the silo and compact it and we'll let you know what's in it. We'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, harvest complete on field 6. The vehicles have been returned, silo is compacted and with the help menu on here now just to see, we have... 525,000 litres of chaff. Okay, so we can blanket that. Small little bit of overspill there. Okay, I I was going to go and sell milk from the cows, but the price of milk at the minute has absolutely plummeted. So I'm going to wait. Um, might wait until tomorrow. Field 6 needs to be ploughed. Um, I have a worker up here already in the vent. Just as an area up the top that he is not doing. He's not. Is he finishing up along here and I'm meeting a good line? If not, I have to tear up the top there, anyways. Yeah, this area has been missed there as well. Yeah, once I have uh, once I have an area or two here, I can just let the two workers off in it, and we we'll get we we'll get through plowing this fairly quickly. Get it re-prepped and ready to go. Might just do a big harvest of soybean up here, um, just to get a bit of money rolling back in again. Um, field five is ready to go. The cotton harvest, like that, the, the price of cotton has fairly plummeted as well. To be honest with you, in comparison to when I did my own field. Um, so I don't even know is it going to cover the cost of the machinery at the minute, I don't think it is. So that's something I kind of have to look at as well. Um, the amount of money we spent out there today just doing the doing this harvest. And the amount that would have to go out as well to do the cotton harvest, I don't think I'd have any money left out of it. No, I know it looked with three hundred seventy-four thousand. Um, we're not doing too bad for money, but there are there are machines I need to buy, and I need to start buying them fairly soon because they're coming back up and down from CJ Farms every time. It's a lot of machinery coming up and down for the small little things that need to be done. So I need to get a, like I said, maybe a wheel loader, telehandler, skid steer loader, I'm not sure. 
need to get something for up here just for cleaning out animals for loading silage um, I need to get a trailer as well for the truck so I can get that done yeah so yeah I think I'm just going to do a soybean harvest we might move on to granddad's farm first I think and do the sunflower harvest there that'll bring in a bit of money and then I can move on to then I can move on to the cotton harvest here that's the hope anyway Okay, I can let a worker off on this now from there. It should be able to stay going. Well, hopefully. And um, we'll clean up the bits at the end. Okay. Um, yeah, that's... That's our cotton field there. I don't think we're going to get a lot off that. I, I really don't. I'm not saying that it does go down a bit further than I expect it now. Um, maybe it mightn't be as bad as I thought. Let's check it on the map. It's actually not that small. We might actually do okay. Oh, that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll move on to Grandad's farm anyways first. We'll get field 51 harvested, get all that reprepped, ready to go again. Um, I get that planted. Get soybean on it. I might get soybean on field 5 as well. Which will bring in, it should bring in a nice bit of money. Yeah, we'll we'll look we'll we'll take a look at it. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that there for today. Again, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button and ring that bell. Thanks for watching.